Okay, I'm back. Um, usually I, I do the packing on Sundays when I have a lot of sales, like on Friday. I do usually do the next day shipping. I'm fortunate, I, the post office isn't very close, but if you have a UPS uh, sale and you have USPS stuff, um, UPS will take it for you. So, um, and the FedEx is right down the street. And when I work, um, when I'm working on the way to work, there's a post office and there's a FedEx right right off the freeway. So um, I just kind of make sure I take that route and I, I try to mail things the very next day, the ship things the very next day. So it's actually 10 sales, okay, because I still, you know, the person has to pay. So, um, so I'm excited. Even if some of the things like that shirt only got 550, all those little sales add up. So you're not always going to make $50. I mean, I think on average I make about $25 to $30 depending on the item and that's kind of my goal but if I make less on other things then you know what that's okay too because it does add up um, but it, it really does it depends on if you're a full-time reseller or part-time reseller if you're you're relying on the income um, I have been able to pay off so much debt from it I mean my, my husband and I are pretty much debt free because we just we have just been um, paying our debt with this and um, and saving up for vacation. So this is kind of our fun money, but eventually it's going to be part of my income when I retire. Anyways, okay, so let's get started. So like I said, my cousin brought me a whole bag of clothes and I initially I took all the clothes in and then I'm like, some of this stuff is really not worth it, you know, for both of us. It's not going to be profitable for both of us, but um, she did, and all, all the stuff has tags except for the purses and the shoes, but this is an ASOS dress. It's really beautiful, green, like a, a hunter green dress. And it has this little twist and um, how much was it? I think it was like $89. So I think I'm gonna list it for, I think I listed it, I listed this one already for 40 or $50. And I'm hoping to get about, I don't know, at least $30 out of it. 15 for my cousin, 15 for me. And then I didn't have any, really any plus size jeans. And I usually would not sell Fashion Nova. Um, most of my closet doesn't have brands like Forever 21 or H&M. Not that they're not great brands, but the, you know, the market's really saturated. But because I got these from her and these ones, they're like 50 to $60 jeans and they're super on trend. I think they're so cute. Look at, they're distressed, they're destroyed right there. And they're super cute and they're size 2XL, which is a size 16. So I listed these, I believe, for $50. So I'm hoping, again, to at least get um, $30, $35 from these, especially because I have tags. So I got two pairs of jeans from her. They're also 2X right here. I like the top of them right here. It's re really cute. I like this little V cut. I think it's very flattering. And I saw them on the stock pictures. And um, one of these pants I think was 60 and the other one was 50, but I think I listed this for 50 and I'm hoping like again to get 35 to $40 from them so that it could be profitable for my cousin and I. Um, I gave her back some dresses. I had already listed these, but these are so cute. Sometimes I'm just take stuff. I'm gonna take things just because they're so cute and I want a diverse closet. It's also with tags and this is from prettylittlething.com and brand new dress and this is a size 16 so whoever had these was a size 16 and this is also um this is fashion nova oh and this one i believe i listed for like 40 dollars okay. hoping to get i don't know 20 25 dollars same with this one fashion nova 2x really sexy exposed zipper really pretty with tags hoping to get at least 25 30 dollars from from this um profit okay so those were the, this is actually already listed so i'm gonna set this aside over here on my chair those are already listed so some of the things i oh and also these are listed so i'm gonna go into the shoes that she she brought to me now these are a size nine, they're called Delia's, and they're so cute. They have like that chunky heel, brand new, size nine, little happy faces. 
these um, I'm gonna I already have them listed and let me see what I listed them for but I, I don't have them listed on Depop see these kind of things do really well on Depop so I, I haven't had time to list them yet but I mean on Depop but they are listed on posh and I think that if I list them on Depop um, they'll do really well let's see what did I list them for it's kind of late so it's $75 but these, these run like $90 retail. And like I said, they're brand new. So if you're looking for uh, to save money, somebody's looking to save money, they even have a stuffing in them. That's how new they are. So these ones are already listed. And um, I'm really excited about these tennis shoes. I'm gonna list them um, this week. And they're called, um, I've never heard of them. They're called Ball Main tennis shoes. They're awesome they're so nice they're suede they're very high end um i saw them the uh retail they're about 850 dollars. these are size 41s and brand new and i still i'm not even sure how much i'm going to list them for um but if they run 850 dollars, maybe 500 um 600 maybe i'll start them at 600 um but if somebody's looking for a pair of uh, ball mains here they are they're beautiful so these ones I kept because her and I would be able to it, it's going to be profitable for us to to sell these together and I have actually offered to teach her how to do this but she just I'm hoping that she's inspired to 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 do this on her own eventually because I don't mind you know she doesn't want me to, to list them but right now she you know she's new and she's kind of scared to do that and I know it's intimidating I was really intimidated even like making these videos is intimidating. These ones, okay, this is not everybody's cup of tea, but but they are popular and these will go up in, in Depop. I don't have them listed yet. As a matter of fact, I looked, and these are brand new, they're Demonia, and these run for like over $100. Um, I'll probably list them for like $80 or $90 because they do have, and they've never been used, they, but I think that just storing them, they might have just a little, little, and I'll, and I'll um, and I'll list, I'll take a picture of that and make sure people know that there's just like a little bit of scuffing. Okay, so these are, uh, I, I'm not sure. I think they're a size nine because I think the same person that had those happy face ones, these are, um, because I put them on, and I'm a, uh, I don't know. It depends what kind of shoe I'm wearing, but uh, they're definitely not nines. So maybe a 10, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out the sizes on the size on this. But I just got them. And I, if, if you know where the sizing is on these shoes, if anybody knows these shoes, the Demonia shoes, please let me know in the comments below because I cannot find it anywhere. I even looked in the zipper part, but I'll explore a little bit more. Okay, but these are great shoes, so I'm gonna be listing those. These ones, and I actually use a little bit of baking soda. I was trying to, um, they kind of smelled like they've been sitting for a long time in a closet, but they came in a dust bag and they're the Rosetta Getty Echo sandal. And here they are. And the only thing is they have a little bit, and just, um, they, they're white at the bottom only because I have baking soda, but they're brand new. And um, the only thing is they had a little discoloration, like a little bit of yellow discoloration there. And you can't really see it, but I'm gonna disclose it and discount it. Uh, but these shoes retail at $350. So I'll probably sell them for $150. And these are size 41 also. So um, I think that's equivalent to a 10. And then they come with a dust bag. So things that usually come in a dust bag, you know they're expensive. So I'm going to be listing these two. So those are the shoes that she, she uh, brought over. Um, now she did bring over some purses and they are used, but they are so cute. This is, a the Kate Spade gray purse. There it is. Kate Spade. All right. And it's very clean. I haven't decided because I haven't done the comps on these because I was working on the clothes and, but it's very clean inside. So, and it's leather, it's definitely leather, but, um, it has like a, a little mark right here but that's okay I'm gonna disclose that but besides that it's such a cute purse really nice size and this one's crazy it's a gun metal now this retail is a thousand dollars 
Okay, it's a gunmetal coach purse. Gunmetal color has a magnetic flap opening, zipper, very, very clean. And here we go. Let me see where that says coach. It's a little dirty inside, but I think I could wipe it down. Oh, here it is. So, okay. And um, I've seen this listed on, on like the real real. I'm thinking if it's a thousand dollar purse in, in really nice condition, I think, uh, I don't know. I'm, it's probably like $600 you know, and, and see where we go from there um, on Posh or uh, on eBay. And then she had this one too. Grab it. This one I wasn't sure. It's a little Betsy Johnson. A little backpack. I don't know. Maybe $15. Uh, but like I said, these are all consignment. Also, some of the things that she did, uh, that I didn't list out of clothing, I forgot I had these. Um, these are shorts, they're plus size. They're really adorable. They're like a rant and they're by Misguided, which is a really great brand, light blue. And like I said, I haven't decided yet because I haven't done the comps, but I'm thinking, um, I think I did look up the comps. I just can't remember, but I'm hoping to get like 25, 30 bucks. Misguided um, is a really great brand. This one I kept, I was gonna give it back to her so she can sell at the yard sale, but it's super cute. And it, it's like the night, Nightmare Before Christmas van shirt. And it has tags, it was 44.50. So even if I get like 20, 20 22 bucks from it, um, it's a size extra large. I did keep the bathing suit. I don't have any I have one plus size bathing suit this is a Fashion Nova brand new okay and this is um, a 2x it has a little belt it's really cute I already took pictures of it but even if I get like 15 20 dollars for it I just want to have uh, more plus sizes so I kept this one as well as this little Nike top which was $30 and because it has right here it has the price tag extra large so maybe 20 20 bucks somebody who wants to get workout clothes for less new workout clothes and this is a cute little tube top I wasn't I thought it was a skirt but it's actually a cute tube top it's an adidas tube top extra large it was thirty dollars so you know 20 maybe 20 bucks it has adidas right there and then just this little camisole which is by boohoo and it is a size 16, a mocha color. Um, I was gonna also give her this back because I didn't know how much we would be able to make off of it, but I, I decided to keep some of the small things. Um, I just returned the other ones. And then we had this pretty little thing, dress with polka dots. This one has a rouging, which is very flattering. And this one is a size, size 12, so it's not that big size 12 us 12 very cute the um it's like a the polka dots are actually like they feel like felt so even if it's like you know 25 bucks i have to figure out how much it sells retail and this is like a like a cover-up or even a little sexy negligee and this is by rock rose um, couture sheer with butterflies. I thought this was cute. So this is like one of the little small things I thought I could keep. And these pants are uh, $50, $59, 20 regular. And these are Torrid. And I love selling Torrid. It usually sells really quick. So it's a great plus size. They're high rise relaxed trousers. And I didn't take a picture of the back of them. That's why they're not listed yet. But I, I'm almost done with that listing. Um, this is really cute too. And I saw this. And this probably will sell for like 30 bucks. It's like a, a really good brand. I've never heard of it. It's called Savage Fenty. And it's a, a thermal, like crop shirt. And it is a size 2X. And if people bundle like these plus sizes, 
I definitely I'm gonna consider consider button you know if somebody gives me a fair price I would love to bundle this for someone all these really cute ones I almost kept this but then I didn't think it the color was good for me but this is an ASOS dress ASOS design size 10 and it's so cute it's like a little prairie dress a little cute flowers very light like a crepe fabric and I thought this was like cute like some Doc Martens you know or some sandals depends on your style but this is a really really it's like the fabric I want everybody to see like the print on it real cute flowers so I'm hoping I could sell this for like 40 bucks this was a really this is a kind of a high-end brand called Club London and this is a size US 4 sequin dress very comfortable and you know you usually sequins is very heavy but this one's not very heavy it has like a little sexy opening here and it's a wrap dress and wrap dress always a very very flattering if you're size four I'm sure it's gonna look flattering anyways <laughs> now this one I just kept because it's so cute this is from fashion kill killa I like that yin yang sheer and this is also a plus size size 18 very adorable with some high-waisted jeans and a, and a black I don't know it depends black bra black camisole very cute oh my gosh I totally forgot about these these are also Delia's and these were purchased on Dolls Kill these were $65 pants they're mom jeans and they have these cute hearts really cute pair of jeans I don't know how much these are going to go for, but they're so adorable. They were $65, so I'm hoping to at least get $40. I actually did look them up, and they're, um, I think they were sold out in the plus size. And then I had, I have the, this is also by Misguided, this really pretty green blouse, very light perfect for the summer and this is a size 16 and um, I had to wash it because I was steaming it and it got like little water spots but I'm pretty sure it's new it didn't have tags though um, things with tags I usually just steam them but when I was steaming it, it's it's a very uh, I think it's like a rayon fabric and so it just got a watermark on it and I didn't want to sell it that way and this is a size 16 and it is 100, oh, it's polyester. Gosh, polyester's changed over time, it's great. All right, so uh, those are, that's the clothes, that's the purses, that's the shoes. Oh, she did give me a few more purses and I haven't decided what to do with them yet. This is a Brighton, which I thought is a, it was a nice purse. So I went ahead and I took it. Now Brighton, I usually would not pick up I do have a few Brighton things that I haven't sold, but they used to be really, really popular. But you never know, Coach is coming back, so who knows? It has like great pockets in the back for somebody who um, who's still very loyal to Brighton. I always like their um, hardware is so solid. So that's a great that's a great person. Then this Tommy Hill figure, little crossbody. Okay, and this one. I need to just wipe it down. Love um, Moschino. This is a this is an ace. This sells on ASOS, and I was really quite shocked because it's not leather. It has some baking soda on it. Um, it's not leather from what I can tell, but it is a two hundred and something dollar purse. So I'm hoping to get you know eighty bucks. I mean, it has a really cute little mirror so um the hardware is is really nice so and it, you could use it um, as a crossbody or just hold it like a hand a handbag so it's a really great color too this royal blue is super in in the 80s so I, I think it's so cool to see it come back i used to wear that color in eyeliner <sighs> don't judge me it was cute at the time all right, so those are all the things that I got for consignment with my, my cousin, and I'm hoping that her and I can benefit from it, and we can continue. She says she's gonna continue to be uh, to bring me things that I can sell. Okay, now, when I went to the flea market,
at the end of the day on a flea market, people start throwing things away. And so I passed by a trash and they threw away some great textbooks. Now I try to do the Amazon thing. I'm just not ready. There's a, to be able to sell books on Amazon. I tried it, we did sell it, but it was just too much work for doing part-time. Maybe when I start going full-time, I'm going to add Amazon, maybe sooner, I don't know. But right now that's not in the plan. But these, I looked these up on eBay. There were other books that um, were not really profitable, so I'm gonna donate them. And, but these, this book, science books like the hardback i'm very familiar with pearson because i'm a teacher and i so i'm familiar that that's a that's a book company and this is a workbook a physics workbook each one of these sold comps on ebay was at least 20 to 25 dollars to me it's worth i'm um, listing because um plus shipping um, because these are kind of heavy so i'm not going to pay for the shipping for this and you know they're all like science books that people need and um, I saw most of these books sold currently so I believe that the universities are still using these books so I went ahead and I kept them and I donated the other ones but I pulled them out of the trash I got them for free okay yes I'm a trash digger I even tell my students I'm a trash digger because I have a lot of things in my class you know that I find on the side of the road or I find in the trash and you know what there's no shame in it you know I feel very proud that I'm you know I'm trying to to save some treasures that people just don't want anymore. Okay, so that's the books, my cousin stuff. Now on to some of the little pickups I made. Now it's not a whole lot, it's not what I use, not a haul that I usually would do, but because I'm still trying to list my, um, my death pile, I'm limiting myself to, you know, just sometimes I get that itch and I, you know, I gotta scratch it. So let me set up for the last part of this video. I had no, I had no idea how I was going to start this because I'm so excited about so many of these pieces. I guess I'll start with the purses. So I picked up this Dooney for like 10 bucks. Dooney sells, all my Dooney sell. And I don't know, uh, it, it is coming back. Probably not exactly this size, but it's just, I love Dooney. I have my own collection of Dooney's and I've given up some of my collection to sell because there's no reason to have 20 Dooney and Burke's purses. Well, kind of. There isn't a reason, but it, I mean, I love them. Although I'm gonna keep this one's my personal. I, I just had to show it. I got this for 20 bucks and um, I looked it up and there's, I think it's a $300 purse. It's such great condition. So let me throw this strap in there. It doesn't belong to that. Very clean. I might use it this summer and then sell it. It, got, it has hydrangeas and it has a little Dooney, uh, Dooney and Burke uh, symbols or lettering and then I love that Dooney has this because I always lose my keys so those are the two Dooney purses and now I do pay up for some bags not all of them um, I usually try to keep it five dollars and under this Joe's bag is really cute it's Joe's jeans and it zips it open gets wider has pockets in the back um, and it's pretty fairly clean inside it's clean it's a great purse. I'm going to go ahead and restore it. I'm going to condition it and I'm going to um, paint it so it could look nicer. And I'm hoping to get like $30. I bought it for five. The sack. Um, I got this because shoulder bags are really in and I only got it for like a dollar, dollar or two. This is the sack and I love the knitting and, and, um, and the sack is a, is a good brand. It's, it's not like a super high end brand, but I, um, but it sells. People like the sack. They're really reliable purses. Okay, I have already listed this. I went to a thrift store and this, Juicy's coming back, people. Juicy's coming back. Um, it was turned this way. So I was like, oh, a Juicy purse. And it has that velour and I'm not, I don't think this is leather, but it's this is really good. Um, it has a, a really good um, strap and there's no peeling on it. So it was facing like this and it said, $4.99 at the thrift store. Then I turned it around. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, and this one I believe I have listed for $75. Other, than, I mean, really? Look at the, the studs. Like there's no chips on the coloring or anything. It is so cute. This one's already listed. It's so cute. And it's listed for more on other sites. So I'm hoping I could sell it soon. Um, 
And this is a, a really, I have already listed this, so it's in its packaging. I was saving it for you guys. Isn't that cute? Little hobo, kind of like little hobo, little boho purse. Has a cute color, it's very clean. It looks like it has leather. It's really, really adorable. For somebody who wants a little shoulder bag, that's like a little boho look to it. And the way you open it is you slide this through. Handmade, smells great. Um, I'm hoping to get like $20, $25. You know, these kind of purses do sell. And um, it's super different and cute, really unique. For somebody who likes smaller purses. Um, this one I had to clean up. Like I said, I pick up fossil all the time and it sells all the time. And I cleaned it, I, I got suede cleaner and I cleaned it. It was just a little dingy. It wasn't really super dirty, but I wanted to clean it up. It's Fossil 54, which is um, a more, it's a little bit pricier um, retail and it's very clean. Um, I'm hoping to get, you know, about 40 bucks from it, but it's patchwork, very cute. Oh, uh, I love this. Okay, I already have one like this, but I don't have this one. It's a Mexican, like those artisan purses. And look at the little mushroom from like the 1970s. It has a cute little dial, okay? This one I could um, I could sell for about 80 bucks. And it, sometimes these purses aren't very clean on the inside, but look at this, super clean. The only thing is it has scratches in the back, but I'm gonna go ahead and condition this baby to see if it, it will like restore some of the leather right there but it doesn't have any crap it's just so beautiful and this one i'll probably i'm hoping to get about 80 dollars about 80 dollars but it's so cute it's so tempting to keep it and then i got my husband took this one out but he said we could sell it for about 40 bucks i'm going to clean it up it's not clean yet it's a samsonite vintage satchel and it's very clean on the inside it has in the back it has an open. It's a great like little briefcase for someone who's traveling. But um, we saw the comps for this and we just got this today for 40, uh, we can sell it for like 40 bucks, but I literally got it for like two bucks. It's so cute. And I think that's it with the purses. Yeah, that's it with the purses. So let's go on to the shoes. These ones, that's, they're getting a lot of attention. These are from, by Mark Fisher and they are a size seven. And look at, they're just in beautiful condition with the fringe, they're suede, look how clean on the bottom. Looks like they weren't even used. So these are already listed. I'm hoping to get like 20, $25, at least make 20, $25 from them. But um, I'm gonna be listing. So as you can see, I have so much stuff to list. So if you wanna um, follow us to see when they're listed, if you're interested, um, our store is called True Rich Rags. If you like what you're seeing today and you want to see more content, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe and, um, and ring that little bell, so you, the notification bell, okay? So click that, so that way you know when I, I post more videos um, because that's what I plan on doing this summer. And then we have Golf Stuff Sells, okay? And especially this brand, Travis Matthew. And we picked up this hat for a couple dollars, brand new and I'm gonna list that. So I have a, a, I have a lot of um, the same kind of the Travis Matthew, but they're not as nice. This one has like a real patch on it. That other one's just written on. And so we brought down the price on that one. This one we're hoping to get at least 20, 25, even has like this part, you know? So it's brand new. So we're hoping, as a matter of fact, I have some golf pants. pants. They are so nice. I touched it. I got them for $5.99 at the thrift store. They're called Lewis Castell mint condition. These are like an off white. Let me take them off. Like an off white, super light. I understand that this would be for golfing. No stains. Ooh, but the seam back here, it seems to be little but I think it, I mean, I'll have to discount it. There's no holes, but it looks like this, the seams are loosening up. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, and mention that in the listing, because you have to do that. But I have another pair, but they're gray. Hopefully they don't have the same problem. No. 
these are gray and they're probably from the same person but they're the thing is that they don't have oh the sizing's in the pocket been looking like crazy for the sizing and I can see right here they are size I don't know size 86 I don't know what that means I'll have to look them up size 86 but they're light they're very light pants and I and I like this Louis Castell and then it has that little doggy in the back I keep getting interrupted and you know the hard part is I have a 21 year old a 23 year old and a 25 year old okay so when I come here and they're very trendy they like not trendy they actually have a very unique way of dressing and so when we bring our haul they're like looking through it so I have to hide some stuff I feel like a mean mom well my daughter just found a purse a Kipling purse that I bought today for a couple of dollars she already had it on her shoulder she's like mom can I have this and I'm like yeah so not going to sell that one. Sorry if you need a Kipling purse. You have to wait till she gets tired of it. But the good thing is they, they give me stuff that they're tired of wearing. Or if I had given it to them, they'll just give it back when they're done wearing them. And they're really good with their clothes. So there's not a lot of wear on it. So I like the fact that my daughters don't expect to get new stuff. They're not, I mean, they do shop at the mall once in a while. But they're really moving away from fast fashion. And I'm just really proud of them that they, they don't mind. I... I always wore thrift store stuff and I liked dressing different. I went through that whole goth look and stuff. So I didn't want my clothes to look anything like anybody else. So uh, they're kind of that way too. So I'm, I'm, I don't mind giving them things. Um, I, I found these today, washed them and they're Vince pants. Vince if, is a great brand. These are actually over a hundred dollars retail. So I'm hoping to get at least 40. Sorry about the nails guys. I really need to get them done. Okay, um, size six Vince, and they're very light joggers. Like they have like the little jog, little bottom thing. And right now, coming out of the, the pandemic, you know, we're all kind of uh, getting out of our, our comfy stuff, but these are great. Okay, um, now these are awesome, thick leggings i just started up with my yoga my hot yoga so i thought oh i'm gonna get these I'm like cool they're high-waisted i'm like they're kind of funky but maybe that's the look then i looked them i'm like wait a minute this is for someone who's pregnant so these are maternity leggings and they are so thick there's no way you can see through them they're like pants like but they're leggings and then i looked really close and they're avocados which is a really good brand for leggings it's pretty high end and I'm hoping to get like I don't know like 40 bucks from them and I only got them for a couple of dollars and they are in really great condition they have like I don't know if you could see right here no they they're like a little cute design here so if you're looking for maternity pants these are great and they're a size large they're size yeah yeah, they're avocados. I can't even believe that I didn't even notice that. So it was kind of like, wow, I haven't found these in the wild. So those are the pants. All right, I'm almost done here. Um, oh yeah, I got this for a dollar. I couldn't believe it. It's a beautiful leather jacket. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm so tempted to keep it. It's like a size medium. The buttons, so cute no stains no tears just mint I, I did condition it because it needed it poor baby has been neglected I found this under a bunch of clothes and I was like wow this would be such a great fall jacket and it's a beautiful like camel color I love it so I'm hoping to make like 60 to 80 dollars from this I love vintage stuff why I got this the big lapels and um and uh beautiful blue light jacket this was from Sears it's a Johnny Johnny Miller and I actually looked up some of the comps and it has like really cute buttons I looked it up and I got it for like a couple of dollars so I'm hoping that I could you know some of the comps on this is like 40 50 dollars so 
It's a great color, something you could just throw over if you're a man or a woman. I, I put it on. Look at the back. Look at these little panels here. Really cute. And it's so easy to wash. Oh, and also has like these little slits. Easy to wash. I washed it already. It's polyester. And... Oh, I have a couple more things. I got this little vintage. Toes on the nose. And these, depending on the design, these could sell for like $30, $40. This is a Citrus Mortars Ontario. And it has a little like retro cars, Ford cars and stuff. So um, I'm hoping that this could at least sell for $30, $40. Washed, it's washed and clean and no tears. And because I love anime, we saw this, uh, and and they're, the comps are about $25, $30, so, and this is a extra, extra large, and then this is a extra, extra large, so this is like, this is a very light, light shirt. I'm not, I don't remember the name of this anime because I don't watch it, but these are really nice men's, and like I said, I'm trying to be diverse. In my men's and like I'm so I'm also buying a lot of men's things okay I lied I still have some shoes then I'm done for reals okay this is for personal use got these Doc Martens for 20 bucks look at the bottom of them now when I saw them I was like are these like damaged by the Sun or is this the color if anybody knows anybody knows can you please comment below because I'm thinking about dyeing them black because I thought they were originally black but then I look at all all around and it's pretty consistent in color so I think they're meant to be gray so I haven't decided whether I should dye them or not um, I haven't decided I might keep them this color because I already have some black docks docks but I like them I think these are called the Newtons but they're not for sale yet because I'm going to keep them I just had it show them off but I have these docks for sale they're really cute like little flower floral docks and these are a size six very light great tread so they're not really used um, so I'm hoping to um, these Doc Martens like this don't um, don't sell for a lot I think I can make like 20 to 30 dollars from these depending on the time of year, but I think I thought I picked them up anyways because they were only a few dollars. I picked these up for a dollar, and they're not my cup of tea. But people love like, like I like water shoes and trekking shoes. They're size 13 men's, and they were brand new. They have tags, and I got them for a dollar. And they're called, they're leather. They're called chotas, chota. Okay, and see, they're brand new. So. Um, I really don't know. I'm hoping to get like $25 to $30 from these. But this is a good time of the year to actually selling water shoes or hiking shoes or walking shoes. Very excited about these. I just got these yesterday. They're real Uggs. They have like that. Um, like I know they sell fake Uggs and I always look for that, that hologram. It's like a hologram little piece right here under the it's, a it's like a little hologram and it's under the UGG thing and these are a size 8 so they're a great color and they're super clean so I'm hoping to make like 40 bucks off these I am they do have a little spot that I'll disclose right here but I do have um, the UGG cleaner so I'm gonna I might work on that and just see how they do but very little use and I got these for five bucks so I picked them up and I'm hoping, like I said, like 40, 40 bucks. Um, last things, almost there. Tiger, these um, Tiger tennis shoes. They're, you know, they don't have, um, they're laceless. They're not, they have these, the holes, but they, they don't require laces. This is a size five, so it's a rough size, but you know where my size five people? You deserve little cute shoes like this. Okay, so. I'm gonna clean off the bottoms, but all the way around, they're super clean, they're light, and I'm hoping to to get at least $40. This is really cute in the back, it's suede, it says tiger, 
So these, um, this is a great brand tennis shoe. Like if you see tigers, pick them up because they're very popular. Um, they're a Japanese brand. They're cute. Okay, coming on to my to the very end. I actually listed these already. These are called Mini Tonka. And I got these for like five bucks at the thrift store because they're in mint condition. Moccasin boots, fringe, real suede, size. Size. They're size. I think they're size seven. Yeah, I think they're size seven. I'd already listed them, so I didn't. I think they're a size seven. I can't really see. But I have them um, already listed on Poshmark, and I, I know that I saw, I just can't see because my contacts are very dry right now. And finally, I forgot I had this. This is a cute little like lunch bag or a clear bag. I think it's great for like concerts, but it's a Juicy Couture um, little purse, little tote. Yes, if you want to take it to the beach. It's really, really cute. I don't know how much I'm going to sell this for. I was actually going to use it for personal use. And realize I have just way too many things like this. So I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Okay. All right, guys. I think we are done. Okay. And I hope that you were able to learn something. Um, if you're uh, thinking about reselling or you're a new reseller. Or even if you're just a reseller, period, that you've been reselling. Um, I like to watch other resellers to know what kind of brands are selling. Things that are um, hot right now. And... Uh, that uh, have a big demand. Uh, I'd like to share because I have learned so much from other people and I'm hoping that my videos just get better. Um, I'm not a YouTuber by profession by far and I am going to keep working on uh, making content that's interesting. If you have questions, please comment below. And again, click that like button um, that helps me and JT know uh, which direction to go in. Um, if there's something you're curious about and I can answer, just comment below and we will um, do our best to get back to you. Like I said, I had summer all summer and I plan to, we're gonna, we have a Palm Springs uh, trip planned um, in a couple of weeks. So I'm hoping to pick things up there. Hopefully I can videotape some um, and see what we can find. Okay, well, that's it for now. Bye hunters.